Yo, sup, it's me, Rainbow. We're black playing more Terraria. This is a different recording session because you know it, you know because we're still loading up the game, booting it up. So, yeah, bow only challenge. And I decided, using my smart brain, that I'm going to zoom in on the character a bit more um, so that uh, it's a bit easier to see with uh, phone people. Because who watches uh, YouTube on computers nowadays? Nobody. That's who. And if you watch YouTube with a computer, then good job. You're nobody. You're special. Uh, okay. So let's zoom in. Like here. That this seems good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what were we doing again? Right. So, uh, so we're right, 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 right. I'm in a very tough spot. That's what's happening. I need to find. I guess I just need to rush across the desert. What do you think, Jeffrey? You should stay indoors at night. It's very dangerous to be. That is very helpful. Here. How much cactus do we need for the chess piece? Make a swiftness, thorns, platform, ah, uh, chess piece. 30! Dang. This is all furniture. Right, 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 it is. And now the enemies are spawning. Great. Okay. Well, we can still rise and descend like wizards. We. Okay. So, I can't really see the sun. I can't really tell what time of day it will be. And because we don't have gold or platinum yet, or really a normal table, uh, I can't make a watch. Well, you can make a watch uh, using um, bronze slash tin, um, iron slash uh, lead, or, or no, no, it's silver or iron, I'm pretty sure or lead and then gold or platinum and the uh, more expensive the material the better watches and it makes uh, stuff show up like over here under the mini map like you're moving at 75 miles an hour it's 706 p.m. stuff like that but uh, the better the material the better the stuff so yeah I planted a tree okay, I'm gonna need to drop some stuff off so we don't need this or this we do need. Um, or this. Shoot it to do bat bow. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Zombo. Pew, pew, pew. I mean. It's possible to get excess. Wow, that's a lot of more um, uh, stuff from. There are a lot more gold than I expected, but um, you can get accessories, which are um, which are the little things that are under the pants um, from killing enemies. And I plan on I air and zombies. I air, you get different accessories for doing different things and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, eh, I'd describe the position. What? Well, that was a close one. I'd describe the position that we're in as not great. Uh, I'm going to have to make a sprint through the desert. Hopefully, I could find, like, a, a pyramid and get, like, the sandstorm in a bottle or the flying carpet. Um, honestly, I do think the pharaoh clothes eh, look cool. So. You might be like, uh, the fair clothes are the worst, uh, thing in the thing. I think they're look, yeah, I think they look cool. It's a cool vanity set. So, we'll still wear it, because then it makes us look less like a girl. Okay. Uh, so we don't really have anything to do while it's nighttime. We just have to sit and wait, like... Once we get more NPCs, we don't have to cower inside, like little babies, because we are little babies. Wait, what the... 
okay, that was that was weird, but I pressed down and I went back up it. Got our forge, our anvil, our thief. We Okay, it's getting brighter outside. Why isn't it daytime? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we can pick off these nerds. There we go. And we wait for him to get out before we uh, take him out. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Also, some Hermes boots. Those would be good. Oh wait, this this actually is a larger cave. Do I have any ropes? No, I don't. Well, I hope that we find some down here. Found health. That's good. Oh. Oh. Well, crap. We're in a again a very poor position, and I could spend a recall. Okay. We're gonna do our best to um, get out and go across that stupid desert. There's so many, so many enemies. I think if I play my heels right, I can just like rush through. Just so, like run through it and like not even go for conflict. Wait, is that a day bloom? Nope. Yep. Cactus is always necessary. Also, I am definitely not going to be removing any of the gravestones. Ever. Hey, stuff is growing on here. That's cool. Okay, for semi. Yep. Ah, he jumped too. Let me just, just having a grand old time, just getting cactuses, don't kill me, don't kill me. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't be doing that much combat, but still. Oh, that is a kind of hard jump to make. Yay, I see. Oh, gosh, dang it. Ah. Run, run, run. Kill, 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 kill. Yay. Oh my gosh, I finally did it. I got past the desert. Yay. Oh, wow. One hit green slimes. I mean, I know that isn't that much of an achievement, but that. Of course, we immediately hit the jungle. <sighs> jungle is one of the... There is one of the hardest places for me. Beginning of game or otherwise. Well, at least the underground jungle is. All we have to really worry about are bats and jungle slimes. But to get through there, we're gonna have to go through the underground desert. Or the underground jungle, that is. At least a bit of it. Oh well. This isn't really helping me. I have wooden platforms and I can put those on walls, right? Yeah! You just need to not fall off them like an idiot. Oh, this isn't an escape. Well, it'll become one. Because that's what we need it to be. So, just having a grand old time being stuck. Oof. I'm not gonna make a new world. I'm not gonna, like, wimp out and make a new world. Wait, we gotta be careful when mining this, because the fallen sand. There we go. Yay. Okay. They can't get you underwater. Haha, uh -huh, they just... Ow. 
They just bounce off. Yep. Run, run, run. Ow, 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 ow. Heal. Die, die. Please die. Please die. Please, please, please. Oh. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. That went very poorly. At least now we have a full set of armor, which now gives us five defense instead of two. Even though the game itself only gives us one defense. Okay. Well, now that we have a bit more armor, I feel a bit more prepared to uh, explore underground. At least a bit. Hey, is that what I think it is? Is that a strange plant? Why, of course it is. Uh, take that, you blue. Yeah, uh, slime. Uh. Okay. I'm starting to believe that coming down here was a bad decision. I mean, at least we found some shurikens. I'm gonna start mining this way in hopes of finding, um, some... Wait, no, I'm gonna start mining from the minecart tracks, obviously. Nope, I can't get back up there. Mine from here! Professional idiot, everybody. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, hey, useless. Well, might as well. All we really need is a good treasure chest, because the Hermes boots would be really good for us right now. Because they, they give us a bit more speed boost. Uh, that's more tin, right? Yeah. We need what we can take. Aha! Oh, that's a yellow slime. But that's a house. That is a house, and that probably has a gold chest in it. Torch, you need to exist. It's mandatory. <gasps> Heart crystal! Yay! Heart crystals increase our max life. For those people who do know Terraria, that's probably like, uh, no dirt. But there might be some people who don't know Terraria. Stay back, beast. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have access to two more NPCs now. Well, now we do. Those being the nurse and the die trader. Dude, dude do you really need three chandeliers? Ooh, this is a good thing. Warding, yes, we need that. That gives us so much more defense. Uh, bombs, ooh, a lot of lead bars. I like that. Healing potions, archery, that's a real good. That, eh. We just got the merchant now, too. Gosh. This is turning out to be very good. And directly a new treasure. <gasps> Band of Regeneration, that's also real good. Ooh, ooh, and that gives us access to the loom. The loom is pretty good, pretty sure. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, yeah, the climbing claws. Yes. Okay. Let's explore a bit more. Nothing. Ooh, I was about to say nothing, but this showed up. Okay, we are doing 
way better than I originally anticipated. Uh, that moss makes me feel like bad things are going to come soon. I don't know why. I always, or before I thought that moss was like a big sign of the area that you're in. It's really not. But still, that moss unnerves me. It makes me feel like the crimson is near. Yep, yep. Kind of becoming a bit harder than. Ah, come on. Uh, I'm just gonna recall potion it. I did just lure another um, giant worm to my house, didn't I? Is that what just happened? I sure hope not. Okay. But now we can make a lead bow, which is better. And hmm, some more. Tin bars that gives us access to the tin hammer, and we can make a better fishing rod. But I'm gonna save uh, making fishing rods for the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, so let's do this and put this over here. Swap these out. Nope. <sighs> okay. I think we're doing all right. I know I've said that we're doing very bad before, but that was the dumb Will, not the smart one who's here with you. Even though the dumb Will was just there. But, but no, 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 that, that never happened, okay? But what we really need right now is wood. So... Guess who's cutting down a lot of trees? Miss Guile here. And I just want to say this. I know um, in the last episode I said put into the comments section down below um, if you think that, uh, or if you think tin is better than copper, or copper is better than tin in uh, this game, uh, without realizing that um, I proceeded to turn off comments on the videos and the reason that I'm turning off comments is because a lot of people just say a bunch of mean things and I don't need that to be there I mean I don't care I just didn't want to give them further access I want them to try to do something better with their lives but um, so that's why I'm turning off comments on the rest of my videos um, yeah okay I think we have enough wood um, yeah. A few more NPCs. Okay, now we clear up these two. We jump up here. Now we start building a new person's house. wonder who's going to come first. But yeah, in that chest, it just had, uh, 50 silver. And for all the people who don't know... Um, about Terraria, the merchant, um, character comes in when you have 50 silver. Different characters spawn when different criterias are met. Let's make some wooden platforms. Uh, the die trader will trade and sell dies for, oh, or the die trader, listen to this, trades dies, I know, weird. Um, but they'll come when, oh, gosh dang it. They'll come when you have a, oh, never mind. They'll come when you have, or when you've collected a strange plant, because, uh, he'll, gosh dang it, I am just terrible with the, cl with the aiming. Um, he comes in when you have strange plants, because he buys and so it's raining. Because he trades the, uh, uh, strange plants for three uh, different um, uh, uh, dies. 
Oh. This becoming red makes me think it's gonna be a blood moon. It's probably not, but it does make me think that. And that's spooky. A blood moon is an event where, um, uh, lots more, um, enemies spawn at night, and zombies can open doors, so you can't just hide in your little house. It ha- it takes up the entire night phase, and I need more wood. Had a small feeling that wouldn't be enough. Gosh, dang it, umbrella slime. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm just going straight for the big trees. Alright, flying fish, those exist. You die because I'm swinging my axe to chop down these trees. That is your fault. And is not held against me. So, uh, yeah, we need a bunch of wood for walls and, um, uh, uh, oh wow, I killed him because I was definitely trying to jump down the trees. It's nighttime now, I can barely see. Okay, well, let's add in some light to this place. Nope. There we go. So, for an NPC to move into a house, it needs to, um, gosh dang it, it needs to, um, have a door platform to work. Um, it has to have walls and, um, has to, um, have at least a chair and a table. And I, like most sane people, I'm pretty sure, use this uh, wooden table because the workbench works, but the um, wooden table that is good to use uh, takes less wood to make. So we're just gonna build this, and hopefully three new NPCs come in. Yeah, it is kind of nice to have um, the smart cursor, and we need more walls, because obviously we do. Who wouldn't need more walls? An idiot, that's who. Who's the idiot here? I am. Ah. Uh. Takes around. Takes around. Ah! Crap, crap, crap. Jeffrey, 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 help. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I unintentionally solved the problem. I was trying to close the door to prevent other uh, monsters from getting in. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Jeffrey. You are very much appreciated. You're, you're becoming a better person each day. Remember that one time when you let in, like, 12 monsters into the house? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think you were that much of a good person. I need more chairs and tables. Wait, do I? Yes, I do. Right, I need to be at a workbench. Bah! Froy Laven. And if you wonder what Froy Laven is from, we cannot be friends, because you don't know the Animaniacs. If you do know the Animaniacs and you don't know what Froy Laven means still, then I'm. Then we still can't be friends, cause come on. It appears in multiple episodes. It. It counts. And if you don't know it, you still. There. You, you just got told. There we go. 
Now, the normal reason why you can't put um, chairs at the edge there, like, um, eh, er, is because then doors can't open. There we go. We got three suitable housings. And, um, wham, bam. Wham, bam. Just makes it look nice. Makes it look nice. And there we go. We have three new houses. And let me check. Uh, is the housing suitable? Yes, and because the houses are um, uh, good for each one, I think that's good. So um, I am going to um, I'm gonna leave off the episode here. So yeah, let's let's hope we get some more stuff. So as always, peace.